Okay. Waiting for the Cooper Hawk to come back. She just flew out. Should be sailing back in here any minute now. And she just took her break. Her little Cooper Hawks are 11 days old today, a week and a half. So we're all excited about it. We got a Good video yesterday of her feeding them. We got a couple glimpses of the little guys and maybe we'll see more of them today, so. When they get to be two weeks old and she's out of the nest like this, we'll see them pretty good. They'll be moving back and forth more active. For now, we're all set up for the feeding. And back in we go. There she is, got something in her talons down there yeah got it right in their foot see all right breakfast time again at the cooper hawk nest Terrell brought in the breakfast and here we are we'll see what happens watch her give them the feed here i'll come in a little bit there we go watch them stretch their heads up there on the left hand side Oh yeah, they're, they're, they're all excited about it too. Up comes the head. <laughs> yeah, it's been a great project. We started here in March when they were putting the twigs in the nest and rebuilding the nest and then going through their mating cycle and, and then the incubation cycle for 35 days. And then they hatched the 31st of May. So, 1st of June. Now it is 11, so they're 11 days old. They're gonna give them a good feed here. They like to feed them early as they can in the morning because they went all night without food. We got good filtered light. 55 degrees. Oh yeah, I see more heads on, even on the left hand side and the right hand side now, look at that. Getting a pretty good glimpse of these guys, he's standing in the right spot today. Well, this will be a good feeding. Yeah, be impossible to count the heads flashing, but we figure last time she fed him with over 12, there, look at that little guy over there. <laughs> we figure she got about five in there, they usually have five this pair. And the amount of time it takes to feed, but we'll watch. There. The male, we named him Gary Cooper, named her Minnie Cooper. And he's hunting all day, bringing in the food. And the older they get, the more prey he's got to bring in because they'll be eventually the same size as him and He's got to feed himself, all the babies and her both, so it all works out. She's the protector. She'll take care of these little guys. Any crow ring gets in the way, she'll run them out of there. And he'll sail out and go get food. And when he's in the area, he'll run the crows away from the nest and Anything else that gets in the way. Oh yeah. Each one does their share. When she's incubating, he'd call her off and give her the food, then he'd go on the eggs and incubate till she got done. So he does his part in the whole cycle here. Oh yeah, little heads flashing now. Look at that. We're all excited about it. This is probably the best view of the little ones that we've gotten so far. We can see a little action on the left and the right hand side. Down the hatch. We're getting a little breeze now. You can just see how long they can feed here. <laughs> Doesn't take long. There you go. 
They happen to get too big a piece, she'll take it back and tear it up. If she doesn't want them to choke, then see she gets herself with a bite. And when she's done, she'll uh, get back on them, keep them warm and cozy. Checking it out. Might have been just a small bird. We'll see how much she's got here. Oh no, it looks pretty good. Look at that. All right, I'm gonna go take that to the stash. They had enough. There, little wing coming. Look at this guy. Yeah, see, week and a half. Like I say, when they get to <laughs> two weeks, we'll get some pretty good views. She's got a place to stash the food and then she'll be back. Well, that's six minutes of feeding, so we'll call that good then. We'll get her when she comes sailing back in here. 